Alright everyone, so the following tip comes from the Mac Observer's Mac Geek Gab, episode number 146. And if you're switching over from Unix, Linux, or Windows over to OS X, and if you want to know more about the Macintosh in general, I would highly recommend this podcast. Um, it's good for beginners, intermediate, and maybe some advanced as well. Uh, they really know what they're talking about, so it's a really good podcast as well, good content. And one of the things that they were talking about here is minibar management. Um, one of the things that I didn't know you could do in OS X is uh, rearrange the minibar icons that appear in the upper right hand corner. Now as you can see my icons are a little out of place and the way that you can do that that they were talking about is all you have to do is hold down the command key or the apple key so you hold down the command key and then you can click and hold down and drag the menu bar items in any order that you want so it's pretty useful uh, for example if you use a program uh, such as Photoshop or maybe a, a, an IDE for programming and if the menu bar if the menu items go all the way across the screen but you want to make sure that you have access to uh, certain menu items all the time all you got to do is just uh, click and drag and you can have those menu bar items uh, make sure it's visible anytime to make sure that the menus uh, don't cut you off so that's one thing I really found useful about this another thing that they're talking about is um, if you uh, hold down the uh, option key or the alt key on your keyboard when you click the uh, airport menu one thing it's going to show is things such as your uh, your airport's MAC address, uh, the channel that it's connected to, the uh, signal receive strength, as well as the transmission rate. And this can be useful if you bought a new MAC recently with a uh, 802.11n based uh, wireless, because then you can really see if you're connecting at 300 megs or 270 megs or 54 megs, you can see the transmission rate of uh, your wireless traffic. Of course, I only have uh, an original series MacBook, and that's before 802.11n was adopted. So, fastest I'm going to see here is 54. But if you do have a newer Santa Rosa, Penryn, or Core 2 based iMac, um, it's possibly useful to have uh, having that information. So just uh, hold down Option, and then click on your airport menu, and you'll see what's going on. All right, so that's about it. Peace.